Hi, I'm Tina Barbacha, Executive Editor of Better Roads here on site in Omaha, Nebraska at the APWA Snow Conference. With me I've got Mike Hewn here. He is the Vice President of Engineering for GVM Snow Equipment. And here is a brand new prototype. What, it's about three days old? Uh, well, it's, it's not quite that old. We've uh, we got completed it in 2008. Okay. And uh, we've been developing it for the last uh, five years. You know, uh, developing the whole concept, working out the bugs out of it. So this is the, the first prototype. This and is we're going to be in uh, production by the end of the year. So. By the end of the year. Yep. And this is called the Power Platform. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about this particular product, its significance, uh, what it might do for the marketplace. Sure. Maybe let's do a little walk around where you can kind of show sure. us some That's of the, the important parts. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, the, the main advantage, really, we've got uh, it's a, a high-speed vehicle. It does 45 miles an hour, and uh, it has four-wheel steering. We've got the ability to uh, do front steering, uh, coordinate steering, as well as crab steering. And so it has the ability to actually turn in a nine foot shorter radius than F-150 pickup. So you can turn around a two lane road intersection, uh, you can work through cul-de-sacs, you know, so it's very maneuverable. Plus the advantage of we've got a forward mounted cab um, with four and ceiling glass. We can have excellent visibility for that on the right hand side, um, avoiding the mailboxes of parked cars. And then it also has the capability, or it has a, a box or a cargo capacity of 26,000 pounds at the at 45 miles an hour, and we can at five miles an hour and less put 44,000 pounds on it. So it has high speed maneuverability, large cargo capacity, exit visibility, and it's still uh, 102 uh, inch wide for a, for a road legal. Now, what kind of engine does it have in it? Um, we put in a, a common 6.7 liter, it's a tier three uh, engine, 260 horsepower, and that's made it to a um, six speed ZF power shift transmission. It's the same one they use in most front end loaders, so it's, it's common in the industry. And it offers uh, the functionality just like an automatic transmission. We, you put it in drive and you go through the gears, or you can manually shift it up and down. So, um, and in addition to that, so it's, it's mechanical drivetrain, plus we have uh, 45 gallons a minute in hydrostatic or in um, hydraulic accessory um, flow. So we've got four accessory uh, remotes front and rear, and those are all controlled as joysticks in the cab. So we have 45 gallons a minute at 3,000 psi capacity. Can we hop up in the cab and take a look in there? Sure. All right. Here we are on our way to the cab. Go home. Start it up. We're now going to enter the cab. Oop, excuse me. Need another hand. Yes. All right, now we're taking a look look at the cab. You might as well get in the driver's seat so you can see the visibility. Well, we've got uh, the right-hand console. It has all the, all the instrumentation. Um, we have a backup camera built into that. The, um, but you've got excellent visibility for all the, uh, the front applications you're using. Plenty of uh, uh, windshield to see everything. Heating and air conditioning, plenty of lights. Um, it's pretty roomy. Oh yeah, we, that's why we chose this cab. So. You said this is going to be available when again? Uh, we're starting production December this year. Okay, perfect. And then when it might be, when will it be on the market? Any ETA for that? Well, the uh, as uh, I mean, we're we're going to be starting building it. It takes about uh, well, probably about two or three weeks for a unit, so they'll be ready for delivery really the first of the year. Fantastic! So, but it even has in the cab. It has a, a cooler. So part of the air conditioning unit, you can put your your uh, <laughs> lunch in here. Bring your lunch, your water. Yeah, to keep it cool. Very very cool. So. Well, thank you so much, Mike. Right. Anything else you want to say to people about this uh, new product? No, it just it's just a it's a very useful uh, multi-purpose vehicle um, and very maneuverable. It's, it despite its size, it actually like I said, it's more maneuverable than it, than even a pickup. So, All right. okay, well we'll look for more to come on this. All right, thank you.